there! I'm Shri and welcome to the Educator Resource Series for Piper Make. Today I'll be guiding you through this tutorial. Let's get started. So to start, let's head over to Piper Make and click on the Reaction Game tutorial. To start, we're going to gather all of our supplies. That's a few jumper wires, an LED light, uh, a resistor, and two push buttons. To start, let's go ahead and set up our LED light. Go ahead and plug your jumper wires into the correct pin of the Raspberry Pi Pico, and then orient your LED with the correct end, the long end of the LED in the correct position. For more details about this, check out the Blink tutorial or the tutorial here. Then go ahead and place your resistor and ground the entire circuit by connecting a jumper wire from the ground of the Raspberry Pi Pico to the rail that runs along the side of the breadboard. Now we're going to go ahead and place our push buttons. These are going to be the two push buttons that your two players use to test their reflexes. As you're placing your push buttons, keep in mind that the wires have to be on opposite sides of the push button. This video actually wires it incorrectly at first. but it's corrected later on. You'll see what we mean. Instead of placing the wire there, we should place it on the bottom of the push button. After this, we're going to start coding. So go ahead and drag out a start block. After this, we're going to want the light to light up at a random time. So go ahead and drag out a weight block and then put a random interval into that weight block. After that, make the light turn on. We're setting it to three and eight seconds so we don't get too impatient. Next, we're going to write a function that determines our winner. Keep in mind that you can name functions whatever you would like. The default is do something, but you can rename it to determine winner. You have to define a variable here. So you'll click on the variable menu and define a variable called winner. That's what's going to be returned by this entire block. After that, put in an if do block. By clicking on the little blue gear icon, you can actually expand this block to say if, else, if, else. This allows us to program multiple things into there. For example, if pin 13 is the first button that's pressed, then that can be determined as the winner. If it's pin 13, then we can also check that. So pin 14, we can define that as player one, and we can define pin 13 as player two. We'll set our variable winner equal to those different names. So player one and player two. Now let's loop this entire system so we can keep detecting who is the first person to hit their button. Technically, because this is a loop, pin 14 is being tested first, but because our interval is zero seconds, the test interval is so quick that it determines who is the winner very accurately. Thank you. 
After that, we want to call the function in our actual program that we're writing. So after the light turns on, we want to start executing our function. In this case, the way we've coded this allows us to turn the pin off and the moment it turns off is when the game starts. You can also rename your functions here. So with that, we're ready to go. Go ahead and open up your console. That's where things will print. With the correct wiring, you'll see who wins. Now, the moment the light turns off, player two and clicks the button, and that registers as a win here. Awesome. Thanks for joining us.